hey you guys welcome to another video if you are new here welcome thank you for clicking on this video and if you're a regular thank you again for coming back i appreciate 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 you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos and supporting my channel thank you so much this video though is about how i now have my largest order ever monetary wise I know I did a few videos back about my largest order ever, which is about a $500 order, but now that has doubled. So this is now a $1,200 order around, and saying that alone just makes me feel so much gratitude, but at the same time, I'm a little bit weirded out by it because, you know, who would have thought? But as my order increase in value and size and all of that monetary value size amount of products i will continue to update these videos so to date this is my largest order and it is of my sankofa bird pins the pins that i recently created i launched on my shop about a few months no about a month ago less than a month maybe but within a month span definitely less than two months and i've had some orders and now all of a sudden boom <laughs> you know boom a university contacted me and they wanted a lot of those pins and luckily i was able to get it done check out my shirt merch yes shameless plug uh, this is on my website as well my etsy shop if you celebrate kwanzaa like me it says naughty nice african and it is a hoodie comes in a variety of colors but i chose to go with the white because i feel like pops more but this is available in my shop as well the story of how i got the order is i got a message a week or two ago on my etsy shop asking about the pins if they can have i think i only had six 15 or 16 or so listed on this and they contacted me and they asked how can they get about 250 of these pins and i said well i can get them for you what time do you need what time frame and they needed them by January for an event in January. And I said, no, what, Nardi, let me be honest. So I explained to them, unfortunately, these pins are from a manufacturer in China. When I ordered them, it took me about a month or so to get them to me from the time of ordering. And, it's, and that was in the summertime. Right now, with a busy season of shipping, I can't guarantee you that it's going to come in January by the time you need it. So unfortunately, I would have to decline your order. And their response was, okay, what about if we got 100 <laughs> instead of 250 And I'm like, once again, it's the same story. I don't have that in-house. They all come from China, and I do not want to put you through that because I would feel bad, you know, ordering all these pins. And I cannot at all guarantee you will come in time for January. I'm not going to do all that to you. I thank you so much, and I'm so sorry. And I sent the message. And then I was like, Nadia, think about this. How can you work this through? And then I remembered... I have the same pins, not the same exact thing, but it's similar, where I order from a manufacturer, manufacturer here in the US. And when those pin canes, they're a little bit smaller, but they weren't exactly 100% what I was looking for. Nothing wrong with them, it's just not what I was looking for. But I was able, and that manufacturer here was um, sticker mule. So I reached back out to the person and I said to them, hey, I know you wanted this pin. I have this other one. I said, here's the difference what they look like. This is this one that I, it's not listed on my Etsy shop, but I do, I can get this one faster. This is the one that you really want from China. Compare them. This is the difference as far as specifications, the size, the material that's used to make them. The one from China has epoxy. The one from up here that I can get does not have that. Here's all the information, but I can get these ones if you want <laughs> in the time for January you decide just wanted to give you the option thank you again for reaching out to me and they responded back like yes we want them we still want it can you get it for january and i'm like yes because i checked just make sure i stick a mule and i was able to get it within a week and a week and a half so i was like yes i'm like you still want it? they're like yeah we still want it but they said we want 250. i said no problem and that's how i was able to get that order and on top of that they also said Plus, the 16 that you have listed on your site, the one that you have from China, we want those too. And I'm like, they're like, yeah, we want all of that. We want everything. So, long story short, I have to sell all of my pins, the one that I have on inventory, plus order more. So, I have nothing left. <laughs> None of those pins. I'm so 
so grateful. I am so shocked and I'm so happy. And I'm nervous in a way, but I'm just so grateful that this doors are opening. Sometimes you don't, sometimes as a business owner, you don't see the sales. You don't see it all the time, but doors are opening. Even if you're not, even if you're not seeing it, other people are watching. And it comes on the heels of my Black Friday sale passed. And I didn't get as much orders as I expected, to be honest. It did not, my orders did not meet my expectation. I was still so sneaking grateful for every order. And I packed every order with love and gratitude. But it really wasn't what I was expecting, to be honest. I was a little bit down by it. And then within the next day, boom, I think it was by the Tuesday or so after the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend, that's when I got the message on Etsy about the 250 pins. So when you think that, you know, your Instagram posts maybe get like two or three likes, because my Instagram posts currently get two or three likes, <laughs> your YouTube videos get less than 100 views, because a lot of my YouTube videos now about my sticker shop get less than 100 views. If I make a video about my hair, though, <laughs> the views rack up. But about my sticker shop, no. And even when you think nobody's watching on Instagram, nobody's watching on TikTok, nobody's pay attention to your Etsy shop, you never know whose eyes is, is, your things are coming in contact with. You never know who's talking about you in high places. You never know. So just keep posting and keep going, keep sharing. Somebody's going to see it. And it's going to meet the right person at the right time when you need it, when it's right for you. So with all that said, somehow in the universe, my feed, my Etsy shop, my Instagram, I don't know how they found me, met the right person at the right time. And in this one order, I made... I just I made a thousand twelve hundred dollars sale in one order in one order that says a lot that says a lot thank you if you're watching this thank you and I just know I know this is gonna open more doors to maybe other universities other companies just a person watching this just know that if you come across my shop, my Instagram, my TikTok, this video, just know that's a lot of honesty, a lot of love, a lot of gratitude, just packed into just one person, to every image that I create in my entire shop, and to every design that I make. It's just gratitude, love, honesty, cultural representation. It's just, just know I'm grateful for it all. So, all the motions, you know? It's just, just. <laughs> Let's just get it let's just get it out so we can pack this order i'm a cancer you guys in case you didn't know that i'm a cancer my birthday is in july july 17th it's a lot of emotions emotional just an emotional being all together all right but it's all gratitude all right let's go get this order together now that we work on printing those backing cards speaking about the backing cards they wanted their own custom backing cards no problem. Do you want your order is twelve hundred dollars? Yes, you can get your own custom backing cards. No problem, none whatsoever. So I had to create that. They wanted a really simple design, which was no problem by me. I'm more of a maximus design. They wanted a more simple design, so it makes it makes it a little bit more easier for me. So now I have to print two hundred and fifty backing cards, laminate them, stick the pins on them, and get them out. And it's more than enough time for the event in January. And before you guys ask me, I will not re release the name of the university for privacy reasons. Just not. Just know it's a university. That's all you need to know. I will not be sharing the information or their name or anything like that. Or even the person that reached out to me. But thank you. If you're watching this, thank you. I really appreciate you. But I will not release their information. Okay, let's get to work. Before we start working, though... Can we just take a minute to appreciate my Christmas tree? I absolutely love it. Love it. Uh, so let me show it to you with the lights off. Oh, everything. It's just everything. It's a white Christmas tree with all the pink and baby blue and confetti and just all the colors. Because you guys know I'm colorful. And homegirl in the corner saying joyous Kwanzaa must see you guys. <laughs> I 
and the printer needs ink. Whenever I get these big orders, it's like something always has to happen. The last one, if you guys watched it, my video about my last largest order, after printing a lot of the products, the stickers, I spilled tea all over the paper, just the, my desk, and I had to start all over again, and I wasted a lot of stickers. Now, thankfully, I only printed one page as a test page for the backing card. It needs ink. It needs ink. Can't show you the backing card itself because it has the university's information on it, but it needs ink. Luckily, I have ink here. This is not an ad at all for HP. They're not paying me. They don't even know I exist. Let me not say that. They might know I exist. Because, like I just said, you never know who's watching, right? But uh, with my print, I have an HP printer. And I sign up for their ink program where they just send me ink automatically when they know I'm running low. So I always have an extra one here. So now that I'm opening this one, which is my extra one, they're probably going to send me out a new replacement one um, shortly. And then now all I have to do is this bag comes in each um, packet they send me. I send the old one back to them for them to recycle. They already paid the postage. So I just seal it, drop it in the mailbox, and I recycled. So I do like the feature that I have HP Instant Ink. It just works, it just works best for me. Now let's get back to making these backing cards because nothing can go wrong with this order, you guys. Nothing, absolutely nothing. All right, you guys, we're in business. Printer is working, it looks good. Okay, now we can move on. Yes. I was kind of, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was kind of scared, I was you know, a little bit shook. The printer is broken, I don't know why. It was giving me vibes, it was giving me vibes. But I guess I read the vibes wrong. Or maybe it was from my last experience where something went wrong with my big order. But nothing is going wrong with this order. Nothing. 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 While the printer is doing the printing, in the meantime, this is the order from Sticker Mule. These are the 250 pins. I'm going to show them to you. They look like this. Now, granted, it still has the film on there. I haven't taken it off yet because the university requested for me to keep the film on. But just know that they're more shiny. I think I have one without the film. Hold on. This is what the pins look like that I was able to get from Sticker Mule. So, this should be 250 of them. I need to count that because when it came, I just opened the box, made sure it was there. This looks like about 250. I don't know. I'm not sure, but we need to count these bad boys to make sure it's 250 in here. And not only to make sure that there's 250, make sure that they're good quality 250 pins. Nothing is broken, nothing is scratched, and everything is good. So let's do that while the printer does its thing. A sneak peek of some stuff that is coming. Not yet released yet, but I'm working on it. Sneak peek. Get ready. Count to the pins, and yes, 250 pins did arrive, but three of them came damaged. And when I say damaged, I mean the front of the pin is fine, but the back, where's the pin? Like, how, how are we attaching this? How are we just <laughs> crazy gluing it? Like, how? How? So the pin I'm talking about is the actual pin part right here. Three of them does not have the pin. Like, how are we attaching this sticker mule? So I'm going to reach out to them and see what they can do. The good thing is I'm not too bummed about it because, like I said, I did have about five or six of these pins in the stock. I just never listed on my Etsy shop because I like the other ones better. So I'm going to use the five, the, I'm going to take three from the ones that I already had and put it with their order so that their order is complete. But let's see what sticker mule can do about these three, you know? Let's see what they can do about it. 
And also, I'm not too, too upset because I've seen other people get orders from China or from wherever where it is a lot more damaged. So for only three to be damaged out of 250, that's pretty good. Hey friends, I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but for some reason, whenever I get large orders, something always, let me not put that out in the universe, but something goes wrong. And guess what you guys, as I completed, it took me so many hours, hours to do each little backing card, it took hours, and then putting put in the pin on each one it took hours. As you can see, it's dark in here. It's very late at night many many hours of work Jones to find out now that i'm done i messed up on every single one of these backing cards they wanted it to say sankofa bird at the bottom um as well as an exclamation mark but it wasn't only until i was going back to the email to check for something totally different check something totally different on the email from them i looked at it and i'm like oh my gosh i messed up after not before not during after look all done all done this wasn't how i was gonna package it i was gonna package it nice and neat but i'm just saying all done so all of these blue backing cards all of them garbage all of them garbage every single one of them is garbage i have to take the pin off put the pin on the new backing cards and now i'm in the process of making brand new backing cards all over again so this is going to set me back another day and a half, maybe two days, depending on how many other orders I get in. I mean, granted, this is not due to them until January, but still, I want to get it done now and over with to work on other stuff in my shop. So I'm basically starting over again, you guys. As you can see, the printer is going because I have to print out new backing cards. Then I'm going to use the laminator, laminate everything, and then I'm going to use this cutter and cut everything into these little itty bitty pieces. Why? Why does this happen to me? You know, I'm still grateful for the order, but this was 100% totally my fault for just not paying close attention to detail. I take the full blame. Now that I am doing them over, I've also decided to round the edges. Like instead of keeping it as a square, making it round. You guys probably can see what I'm see. It's more square, it's round, just to make it look more professional. Because even though I make all these things by hand at home, I definitely when I'm working with anyone, a large company, or even you guys, a regular person that's just buying my products, I want to make it, I want to make sure it looks as professional, as high quality as possible. So I'm just going to take the time and round the corner of all 250 of them. It's actually more than 250 because it's 250 of these small ones. And then 16 of the bigger ones. So that's 266. So I know it's going to take me time, but I'm going to put on something nice to watch on my iPad. Take it slow. Don't stress. And just get it done. 
I had some other orders come through on the Etsy shop. So, right, thankfully, I packed those orders already. So right now, I have zero orders to pack except for this one right now. So, yeah. I just want to make sure it is as high quality as I can give them. So with this, is just going to add another, <laughs> maybe a few hours or so to my time. I don't know, but I feel like adding, every, adding as much personal detail and as much professional touch to it as possible is really, really going to just make them, mwah, you know? Make them just perfect. It's dark, it's early in the morning, and I finally finished the backing cards, the new ones. Finally finished cutting them down to this size and finally finished rounding all the corners so it looks nice and neat and professional. I did the math and they have four corners each. 250 times four, that's a thousand clips with this thing right here. Each time I go down, that's one, two. I had to do that a thousand times. My thumbs are killing me. They're on fire. They are hurting. But I've been working on it since about four this morning. So I'm getting it done. So look, as you can see, they're all complete. As you can see, I'm all done with all 250 pins. Backing card is on all of them. I'm finally done. As well as, these are the pins that are currently listed on my shop, the bigger ones. And I had to make backing cards for them as well. And I had to cut those out and also attach them. So these are the smaller pins and these are the bigger ones. So we're finally all done. All I have to do now is pack. And let me show you the pins up close. Just for reference. These are the bigger ones. And I should be getting more of these from China in a few weeks. And then these are the smaller ones, which I get from um, Sticker Mule. Like I said, this has the film on it, so it's not as shiny. But once you peel the film off, it's just as shiny. Just that these are much bigger. But the new ones that I'm ordering from China will be this big, but they'll have the white background like this. So along with the 266 pins that they ordered, I'm also throwing in a few freebies because I really want to thank them for deciding to work with me to purchase from my shop. I really truly appreciate it. So I want to send them as much Sankofa Bird freebies as possible that I have. And you never know, it might lead to more sales in the future if they have these events again. So the first thing is, this is new to you guys to my shop. This is new to my shop. It's the Sankofa Bird Mug. It has the bird on both sides of the mug. So no matter how you hold it, you can see the Sankofa Bird. And it has the quote, learning from the past to build a better future in the center. And it has a black handle and it's black inside. So this I'm gonna throw it, um, send to them as well, as well as the Sankofa Bird keychain. This is the keychain to the pins that they ordered, as well as my Sankofa Bird notepad, 
right at the bottom with the quote as well. I'm going to throw that in there. And my mini tote bags. You only have, I think, one more of these left on the Etsy shop. They're small tote bags. And I do have larger ones that are coming. Because when I ordered these, to be honest, I didn't know the exact measurements. And I do find that these are too small for my liking. But I'm going to throw, them, throw this one in there as well with their order. And yeah, all these are freebies as well as my thank you cards and all that. And then I'm gonna pack it all pack it all up and get it out to them. This is what it's looking like so far. I got everything in there. Now let me write a nice thank you note, seal it up, and send it out. I told y'all when I bought this tape, I'm manifesting big orders for this tape. Watch that vlog if you missed it. When I bought this tape, this one right here, I never had orders to use this tape. But I said I'm buying this packing tape so that when I do get big orders for boxes, I can use it. I manifested that. And I've been using this tape every time I get a big order. And I've been using it. So now I need more tape. But there it is. Packed and ready to go. So damn grateful. So grateful. I mean, did I overdo it with the tape? Probably. I put one down the center at the bottom. And three at the top here. One, two, three. Did I overdo it? Yes, I did. But I'd rather overdo it to make sure it's safe and secure than to have any issues. I'm excited. Leave me alone. Let me overdo it. <laughs> that is all you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. I would really appreciate it if in the comment section you celebrated with me just by saying some words of kindness, basically commenting, congratulations, keep going, more orders to come. I do believe in the power of words and words can manifest into amazing things. So I'd really, really love that in the comment section. And also for any business owners that are out there that are just having like slow days or think that nobody's watching, nobody's paying attention, your orders might be slow because mine are, as much as I come on here, you guys, my orders are not as consistent, but when they do come, <laughs> It comes like this. Just keep going. Like I said, you never know. You never know. Don't give up. You never know whose eyes might be on your product. I once heard somebody say, um, people nowadays when they're scrolling on social media, sometimes they don't take the time to like. You know, they don't double tap the button to like, but they see it. They see it. And they might have it in the back of their mind. Oh, I see it. I want it. They might go get it or they might tell somebody about it. But the attention span is so short, or they just don't have the, you know, they don't have the capacity to double tap. Speaking about double tap, go ahead and like this video. Just take, just take a few seconds to just double tap for me and like this video. But so, not likes does not equal sales. So not because you're not getting the likes doesn't mean you're not going to get the sales eventually. If they're meant for you, it's meant for you. Period. If it's meant for you, you're going to get it. And this is definitely meant for me. With all that said, if you like this video, if you like my content, if you want to subscribe, I definitely invite you to subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye!